Good morning. Today's lesson is 2.1. Today we are going to do multiplication comparisons. Our essential question, how can you model multiplication comparisons? Well, you can look at the multiplication to compare the amounts. For example, you can think of 15 equals 3 times 5 as a comparison in two different ways. So here's one way and here's the other way. It could be 15 is three times as many fives. So we have one, two, three times as many fives is 15. Five, 10, 15, that works. Or 15 is five times as many threes. So now I have threes in the box. So one, two, three, four, five, and it's five times three. And if I add these up, I would get 15. So remember, that the commutative property states that you can multiply two factors in any order and still get the same product. So what that means is five times two is the same thing as two times five. They're both gonna give you 10, right? And six times three is the same thing as three times six. You're still gonna get 18 as your answer for both. So that's the commutative property. All right, let's look at a problem. Carly has nine pennies. Jack has four times as many pennies as Carly. How many pennies does Jack have? So we can draw a model and write an equation to solve. So first, what am I comparing? What do I need to compare? Well, what I need to compare is um, Carly's pennies and Jack's pennies, right? Okay, so I'm gonna compare Carly's pennies and Jack's pennies. So in my model, it says Carly has nine pennies. Right? So I know Carly, there's Carly, she has nine pennies. And Jack has four times that amount. So he's got one, two, three, four times that amount. And if, if it's four times that amount, Carly has nine, 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 and nine. Because there's one, two, three, four times that amount. Okay? And then when we add these together, we're going to get n because we don't know what n is, right? So now we're going to use the model to write an equation to solve. So n equals 4 times 9, because we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, and each of them is 9. And 4 times 9 is 36. So the value of n is 36. Therefore, Jack has 36 pennies. And if I were to add them up, I would do 9 plus 9 is 18 plus another 9 and plus another nine, and I would get 36, because nine and nine is 18, nine and nine is 18, and 18 and 18 is 36. So if you have to, you can physically add them up. But memorizing your math facts, very important. So you should be practicing your multiplication tables, okay? You need to, need to memorize those. All right, think smarter. Explain how the equation four is two more than two is different from the equation four is two times as many as two. Well, the first one, four is two more than two. That's saying four is two more than two. Well, it's additive, because it's saying four equals two more than two. So you're adding two plus two is four. But the second one is saying four is two times as many as two. So it's saying that four equals two times two. So it's more of a multiplicative comparison. Okay, it's a multiplicative, multiplicative, multiplicative comparison. There, I can say it. All right, moving on. Okay, our next example, we're gonna draw a model and write an equation to solve. So Miguel has three times as many rabbits as Sarah. Miguel has six rabbits. How many rabbits does Sarah have? So first of all, how many rabbits does Miguel have? So let's look back in the problem. Miguel has three times as many rabbits as Sarah, okay? Miguel has six rabbits. So we know that Miguel has six rabbits. So how many rabbits does Miguel have? Six. How many rabbits does Sarah have? Well, she has an unknown amount, right? We don't, we don't know. So we're going to use the letter N to represent Sarah's rabbits. So let's do our model. So think, you don't know how many rabbits Sarah has, so you're gonna use N for hers. So this is Sarah, and we don't know how many rabbits she has, so we're gonna put N. But we know that Miguel, 
Miguel has six rabbits total. And we know that he has three times as many as hers. If she has N, then that means she's going to have three Ns, right? And we know we, we do know that he has six, okay? So let's use the model to write an equation and solve. So we know Miguel's six, right, is going to be three, three of these. And we know that she's an N, so it's going to be three times N, okay? And what do I know that is multiplied by three that equals six? Well, three times two equals six. So we know that Sarah is going to have two rabbits. So if I'm going to fill these out, I'm actually going to erase the ends now because now we know. We know that Sarah had two, and that means each of these is two, and we can double check our math. Two plus two is four, plus another two is six, and that's correct because Miguel has six. All right, the next one says to write an equation. 21 is, whenever I see the word is, I know it's equal. So 21 is or equals seven times as many threes. So seven, the word times is right there, as many threes. So this is 21 equals seven times three. That's we're gonna write a comparative sentence now. Eight times five equals 40. So that's saying, well, here's my is. Remember there's my is, so I know that it's gonna be 40 here. So blank times as many blanks. Well, 8 times 5, 8 times 5, as many, so 8 times 5, because this is saying 8 times as many 5s is or equals 40. You're going to see that is um, in a lot of things in the future. And just know that is usually means the word equal. And times is pretty easy. It always means multiplying. All right, share and show. There are eight students in the art club, and there are three times as many students in the chorus. How many students are in the chorus? Okay, so let's look at what I know. I know that there are eight students in the art club, because right here it says eight students in the art club. So this is my art club, and there's my eight students. Then it says there are three times as many students in the chorus. So that means there's one, two, three of the eights, because it says the chorus has three times as many, and if there's eight and one, one, then you've got to have the three. What we don't know is what that equals up to be. So this is going to be my chorus. So we can write an equation. N equals eight times three. This is my N right here. So eight times three, or I can even count it, eight plus eight is 16, and then another eight is going to be 24, right? So eight times three is 24. So the value of N is 24. So there are 24 students in the course. All right, the next one says six times as many as two equals 12. So six times two is 12 or equals, right? That means equals, and we've got a times right there. So six times two equals 12. They want us to draw a model though. So that means I can have six groups of two, one, We've got two, six times as many twos, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So six times as many twos is going to be 12. Six times two equals 12. 20, 20 is four times as many fives. Okay, so if I've got my five and 20 is going to be four times that, one, two, three, Four, so it's going to be four of my fives. So there's my model, and if I write it, 20, there's my is, four, and there's my times, five. Okay, and there's my equation. All right, so now we're going to write comparison sentences. So we have 18. Remember, is is this equal sign. Nine times as many twos over here. We've got, there's my is again. I always like to start with the equals. So we know it's going to be 32. And then it's times as many. So 8 times as many 4s is going to give me 32. Okay, I'm going to ask that you do the on your owns. These on your owns, okay? And you could do the go deeper and the number 11. And then I want you to go to the math on the spot video, which is on Think Central. I know we went there yesterday. 
and I want you to watch the math on the spot video. Remember that you're going to go to chapter 2 and then you're going to click lesson 2.1 and you're going to watch this math on the spot video. Okay, and that's going to help you solve this problem right here. Okay, if you need me for any of those, um, I will be on the carpet and good luck.